Good evening everyone, it's uh, Jonathan again tonight. Thanks for joining us. I've lit my candle. Details of the uh, service tonight are on the screen, I think there. Please feel free to use the comment box as we go along. And if there's anyone you want us to pray for, we will look at that afterwards and pray for that. Just a reminder that we will be praying, we'll be outside in the UK at eight o'clock. That's an hour after this. Uh, uh, clapping uh, for our care workers and people working in the NHS again tonight. So if you, um, are able to do that in the UK, that would be a wonderful way of getting involved. Let's just start by reading some words from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, from verse 9 onwards. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from his own work, just as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will fall by following their example of disobedience. The word of God is living and active. It's sharper than any double-edged sword, and it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Amen. Some important words in that passage of scripture. The word resting. Many of us perhaps are quite tired, emotionally drained, or even physically drained uh, at this time with work. For a Christian, you know, rest is not just about sleep. It's, it's knowing that our peace and our security is found in our relationship with God. It comes out of that deep trust in God in our lives. We've read in that passage tonight that God's word is living and active. God's at work. He's active in his world tonight. That God sees everything. He sees everything that's happening. Nothing is hidden from God. And we're invited to make our petitions to one who understands Jesus, our great high priest. He understands in every way. And he's made a way for us to approach God's throne of grace with confidence. Tonight we come before him with confidence, don't we? To receive mercy and grace to help us. And we're going to pray for God's help, and for God's mercy, as we confidently come before his throne tonight in the name of Jesus. For those areas where we want to see movement, we want to see things change. We want to see God at work, active actively seeing his word at work in our world today. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you with that confidence. It means we rest in your word. And we rest in your truth. And we trust you, Lord, our Father in heaven, with those that we bring to you tonight. We're confident that you are powerful, that you are active, and that your word is able to do um, you know, you speak light into darkness and it happens, Lord. You're able to do far more than we can even hope or, hope or imagine can happen. So, Lord, we come before you, the one to whom nothing is impossible. And we pray, Lord, help us in our praying tonight. Lord, we long to see change in our world. We long to see change in our lives too. Come to us tonight, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to sing our first song, By Grace Alone Somehow I Stand. By grace alone, how I stand, where even angels fear to tread, invited by redeeming love, before the throne of God above. Stay. 
So with confidence, let's come before God on behalf of our world with regard to this pandemic. Lord, in Jesus' virus in our world, we pray for mercy, Lord. We come before you on behalf of our nation tonight and say, Lord, have mercy upon us. We come to seek mercy and grace in our time of need as we, we've been told we can do. So confidently, Lord, we pray, Father, please have mercy upon us. We pray for a vaccine to be found quickly. And we also pray for miraculous protection for those who need it at this time. And as we've heard some of the figures tonight, uh, we wanna pray, Lord, for those who are particularly at risk of this virus, for the over 80 year olds, particularly men, uh, for those who've got underlying heart conditions or diabetes or cystic fibrosis or asthma or other conditions like that um lord jesus we pray that you would heal and protect and watch after we pray for a miraculous protection in the name of jesus for those who need it tonight and i particularly want to pray lord for those workers um in the in the health and in the care sector of our society from the black or asian minority ethnic backgrounds who apparently seem to be more at risk of this virus. Lord, we stand with them tonight in Jesus' name. We raise a shield of faith around them. We thank you for their work. Lord, we pray no more of this. We want to pray, Father, for your protection upon our brothers and sisters who are working for you uh, on our behalf in these days, in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for healing, Lord. We pray for an advance of healing and an advance of recovery. Instead of the spread of, of a pandemic we pray for a spread of healing upon our nation and we particularly pray for a build-up of resistance in in our society lord of uh, antibodies and immunity in people in the communities that would uh, that would provide a shield and a hedge of protection around those who are most vulnerable at this time lord i thank you for your healing and for the fact that for many of us perhaps who've, who've um, been in contact with this virus um, we've had no particular effects upon our lives. But Lord, I pray that we would become people who would help to provide immunity for others in our society in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord, for our government at this time. We pray for wisdom and uh, with regard to the strategy that they're putting together. 
Lord, please help them. And please pray that they would they would be inspired to do the right thing in the right way. We want to pray, Lord, for um, the area we're in as well. I want to pray for our own localities, wherever you're uh, praying from tonight. Pray for the area that you're in. In our area, at Low Edges, there's been some fear and anxiety after somebody died of CV19. And well, Lord, we want to pray particularly for Low Edges, Bitmore, John Thorpe, this area of Sheffield Lake, Norton, Greenhill. Lord Jesus, I pray that for the people who feel fear tonight, Lord, that they might know peace. And for this society, Lord, that you would have protection over our area. And for every, every locality that we've named before you or thought of before you tonight, Lord, as we bring those places before you, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Have mercy upon us. Help us, Lord. We pray for help and mercy in time of need in Jesus' name. And perhaps it's a good time to also pray for another country that comes to mind. Um, Lord, this is not just a, a British problem. And we pray for other countries around the world, wherever you are. You might be in another country. Pray, pray for another country now. Lord, we pray your protection and your help for uh, for governments and for communities around our world in jesus name we want to pray for doctors and nurses and carers i want to pray for supernatural health lord for those who are on the front line tonight we know that they need ppa ppe i said ppi last night i think they need ppe um, and we pray lord that you would provide it and the logistics would work I want to pray for care homes who are still struggling to get this. And I think of my own cousin's care home in North Yorkshire tonight who, is, who are struggling to get the equipment they need. But, Lord, there are many others, and perhaps we can name care homes before the Lord now um, and pray for those who work there, pray for those who manage it, uh, and pray for, the, pray for those who live there for protection, for strength, and for the provision of what they need to do their work well. We pray, Lord, for... Um, for a generosity of spirit. We thank you for the generosity of spirit in the UK in terms of uh, that uh, that marvellous dear old man who's raised 15 million plus for the NHS by walking around his garden. We bless him, Lord, and we thank you for that measure of generosity. We want to pray we'd have the same generous spirit towards people of different nations in different countries around the world. And that, Lord, there will be a release of funds from this country and from other countries which are richer towards our poor, towards the poorer nations of the world to enable them to cope with the serious uh, nature of this pandemic in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray and name doctors, nurses, paramedics, support staff before you now. People who come to mind who you know are working in those areas. People in care, working in care homes. People you know who are at home and caring for others. Let's name some names before God. I bring Zanabu from our church to, to you, Lord, tonight. Pray a blessing upon her. Lord, please watch over all those who we've named before you tonight. We thank you for them. We ask your blessing upon them in Jesus' name. I'd like us to pray for food banks tonight. Perhaps there's food banks locally where you are. It may be in your area. It's a church that's giving out um, giving out food or or a charity that's giving out food. If you're from another nation, let's bring these before God now. And Lord, we pray for your blessing upon perhaps our local food banks, if you can name them. Um, we pray for the volunteers. We pray for the deliveries. We pray that this would be an effective way of helping people at this time. We pray in other countries, Lord, um, as churches and charities are trying to get food to people. We pray that this would not get stuck by corruption or by any sort of uh, underhand mean. But, Lord, the, the right food would get to the right people in Jesus name. We pray for shop assistants. We pray for delivery men, lorry drivers. Lord, we thank you for all those who are involved in this area. Too, and we pray your blessing upon them in Jesus' name. And we want to bring people before you as usual, Lord. We pray for people who have still got this virus, for Catherine and Steve and Leslie and Karen, particularly those in hospital on ventilators tonight. Lord, please be with them. We pray, Lord, for healing. We pray, Lord, for strength. 
We pray, Lord, for a reversal of the effects of this virus upon their bodies in Jesus' name. Sorry for people who perhaps are at home self-isolating because they've got symptoms. You may know some people. Let's name them before God. Lord, we pray for those who are self-isolating at this time. We pray that you'd be with them. You'd enable them to be restored to health quickly. We pray that, they, that their conditions would not deteriorate so that they would need hospitalization of any sort, Lord. We pray for um, a recovery for them in Jesus' name. And uh, we want to pray for those who are caring and, and nursing people, particularly with CV19 at this time. Whether at home, whether in care homes, or whether in hospitals, Lord. Please be their protection. Protect them from fear as well as from this virus. Help them, Father, as they're working long hours, many of them. Pray you'd strengthen them and I pray that they would see the encouragement of people recovering in Jesus' name. Finally, Lord, I want to bring before you the bereaved, bring Janet and her family before you. So Sheila's family I bring before you, Gareth's family and friends I bring before you, Chris and his family I bring before you, Michelle and her family I bring before you. We name others now. Lord, you are the God of all comfort. And you actually say that blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Lord, we, we, we claim that promise for those who are going through the pain of loss at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. and Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Okay. I thought I wanted to sing something a bit more bouncy. Um, and this is a, this is quite a, a bouncy little, little chorus, really, that uh, many people from our church will know. Um, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across the land. And all they might see the truth and know, he's the way to heaven. We want to see Jesus lifted high, the banner that flies across the land. And all they might see the truth and know, he's the way to heaven. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Step by step we're moving forward, little by little we're breaking ground. Every prayer a powerful weapon, strongholds come tumbling down. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Step by step we're moving forward, little by little we're breaking ground. Every prayer is a powerful weapon, strongholds come tumbling down and down. We want to see Jesus lifted high, a banner that flies across the land. All they might see the truth and know, he is the way to heaven. 
right, just notice as a reminder that we'll be going outside, a number of us, to, to clap and cheer the uh, care workers and health, health service workers tonight. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. It's been great to be able to pray with you. Um, tomorrow night we'll be back at seven o'clock as normal. Shall we finish with the grace? Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. God bless you. Good night. God bless.